Good morning. It says in Proverbs 3 verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean <clears throat> on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. This is good advice from King David to his son Solomon. Great wisdom. And it starts with trust. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. That is fantastic advice. There's only one person who can truly be trusted with everything and will never fail us or forsake us, and that is the Lord. And when we trust in the Lord with all our heart, it means trust him with absolutely everything. Today, why don't you put into his hands everything that concerns you? Trust him with your children. Trust him with your wife, with your husband. Trust him with your finances. Trust him with your health. Trust him with your future, with your career. You cannot trust God too much. It's never a mistake to depend on God and to rely on the Lord. He will always come through for you one way or another. If you trust in the Lord, your paths will be made straight. Often our paths seem very crooked and unclear. We're not sure of the right way to take. We're not sure what God wants, what we want what will be, will be best for ourselves and our family. But David says to Solomon, look in the midst of all of life, here's some great advice. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. <clears throat> it's so easy to rely on our own thinking, on our own experience, on knowledge, on some medical report or diagnosis. The Bible says, don't lean on your own understanding. Don't trust in those things. Go to a higher source. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Lean fully on the Lord. Put all your weight on Jesus Christ. Put all your eggs in one basket and trust him to save you completely. David says to Solomon, in all your ways, acknowledge him. God is there round every table, in every conversation, in every home, in every kitchen, in every situation, in the car with you, waiting to be acknowledged. So many don't acknowledge him. We live like there's no God, but there is a God. We live like we have no saviour, but we have a saviour. We live like there's no comforter, no counsellor, no Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit is with us and he's there to be acknowledged. We must acknowledge him in every conversation, in every decision, in every situation in our lives. Acknowledge him, trust him, put it all in his hands. Call God into the situation. Let him know that you're depending on him and let others know that as well. Trust in the Lord and do not be afraid and he will meet your needs and bless you today, whatever you're going through, and he will make your path straight. How wonderful to have a straight path, to be able to see clearly what you should do, where you should go, what the Lord wants you to do. He will help you today as you put your trust in him. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that those who trust in you are kept safe. We thank you that it's impossible to trust you too much, that you've never failed anyone who has placed their hope in you. Lord, today we trust you with everything that concerns us, with everything that worries us. We trust you with our weaknesses, with our temptations, with our sins. We trust you with our bodies and our physical health and strength. We trust you with our families. We trust you with our needs. Lord, we trust in you. And we thank you that you will make our ways straight as we acknowledge you. Amen.